It is an excellent example of how to bring services together in one central location that serves the community and makes services convenient, affordable and easy to use. I think it's really good. I think someone can spend the whole day there really, so it's pretty good. You can actually access everything all under the one roof, which was something that you couldn't do previously. The Eltham Centre in Greenwich is considered one of the best examples in the country of front office shared services, where different agencies and departments come together in one place, creating an effective partnership, making it easier for the local community to access the services they need at the same time. The centre is the first part of a major modernisation programme by the London Borough of Greenwich. Well, the council wanted to create three service centres as part of its neighbourhood services strategy. The concept was really that we'd improve access to people coming into the building, they'd get a, a much higher quality of experience. So we didn't want to just bring a series of services into one building and co-locate them, we wanted you to go to the uh, service centre as such and get an integrated experience. Here you're dealt with at one central point. The space we've got built into the atrium means we can bring in other services like the police, like the PCT, that will deliver services to the public. Extensive research into precisely what the local community wanted and time and effort spent building an effective partnership were central to the centre's strategy. Indeed, it's this response to local needs and subsequent coordinated partnership that has defined the centre's success. It took at least five years to work through some of the concepts, to talk to the community, to, to brief the architect. The council was a very strong client. We didn't want to build a traditional local government type of building. And so what we hope is more and more partners will come in to add their services in. So you've got the physical location to be able to do it, but the ethos that the centre manager has to lead that kind of interaction and also consult the community around what they want rather than what the council wants to give them. Overseeing the centre's many partners and agencies from the Citizens Advice Bureau to the Greenwich Community College is the centre's manager, Caroline Abrams. There are real benefits for customers in having shared services. Instead of having to go to three different locations to carry out your council business, you can do it all in one place. So whether it's sorting out your benefit, paying your council tax or getting a library book out, you can do it all here. Obviously by co-locating all the service provision in one place, we can cut down on the number of reception services we have to offer and that obviously reduces costs. But also, as it's become more popular with the public, lots of service providers are seeing an opportunity for them to start selling their services, bringing advice sessions here, providing information here and again that's drawing even more people in. Funding for the project was achieved by the sale of council assets, government grants and the generation of efficiency savings, meaning no adverse impact on council taxes or cuts to local services. Local MP Clive Efford was instrumental in the centre's creation. Following a public consultation where local people made it clear that they wanted a new leisure centre to replace the old swimming pools that were really falling apart, very popular but getting old. It was logical to link it with the library which added another two million to the cost but as you can see we've now got a state-of-the-art library and I was very keen that we should have the community college for the first time based in the centre of Eltham. Community College was dotted around a lot of schools in the area, not always accessible to people unless you had a car. They have two floors here now. They have the London Leisure College here, which is uh, training people who want to work in leisure. So they just walk across these bridges above us here, go into the, the leisure centre, do their practical, and they've arranged with the library for all their textbooks to be downstairs in the library. So they've got everything they need on one site and the pe people from the college that I've spoken to are absolutely delighted with it. Halfway through our first year at the college, um, we moved to El the Eltham Centre. I found that the facilities were a lot better, everything was under one roof and I found that using the library helped me a lot with catching up with college work. And I also found that the gym was very useful to be there. I found that like, I could go to the gym a lot more and it was a lot more convenient for me. Lee Abbott of the local neighbourhood panel recalls how things were before the Eltham Centre was built. If you needed to talk about your benefits, you'd have to go into Woolwich. If you had a housing problem, you'd go to your own local neighbourhood housing office. It was a bit scary to start with when they started closing the neighbourhood offices because people didn't realise exactly how this centre was going to work out. But it's actually worked out 
brilliantly for everybody, actually having it all under the one roof. Stephen Murphy is the Leisure Centre's manager and very pleased with the centre's success. I mean, we have, we've got an eight lane, 25 metre swimming pool, um, also a family pool as well. Um, we have London Swim School here. Uh, we have 28 uh, schools that come in and use the facilities during the day. Um, since we've opened, we've grown to nearly three, just over 3,500 members. Um, so it's a fantastic facility. Someone may come in to pay their council tax and they end up coming to join the gym. It's, <laughs> it, that, that's what this facility is about. If you want to come for a cup of coffee, come for a cup of coffee. Uh, you can also come for a swim as well, so bring your swim kit. And so the greater the range of activities offered by the centre, the more diverse and inclusive it becomes and the more it can offer to future generations. Sasan Nouri and Elizabeth Smith regularly attend the centre. Yeah, I really enjoy the gym. I go there quite a lot. Sometimes I might, after the gym, I might go to the library and do my homework. And it's easy to find what uh, genre of book you like. There's so much choice. Like before, it was really small, and now it's like massive. And yeah. you can like do computers and like all the study. Indeed, the success of the centre will hopefully be replicated in nearby Woolwich and Greenwich, who are planning similar projects using Eltham as a model. A recently written study by the Improvement and Development Agency looks at the project and how its many partners have brought about such an efficient customer-centred service in greater detail. A link to the report is provided at the end of this film. So with such a positive response since its opening in November 2007, the centre, with its defining principle of front office shared services, promises to serve the people of Eltham well into the future.